Hi, I'm Mike DiPietro and I own Window Depot Baltimore. We're located in Joppa, Maryland and service Harford County. We specialize in replacing windows and doors, residentially and commercially, but mainly residentially. Any exterior windows or doors, uh, we replace existing uh, and also new construction as well. I've been in business in this area for 10 years. Please come to the website. Um, it has all the information about our products. Uh, the website is www.windowdepotbaltimore.com. All of the products are on there, information about the different finishes and hardware options, and you know, see what you like. And, and once you've familiarized yourself with the products, reach out to us, call us, or set up an appointment through the website to have us come out. Uh, we can bring some products to the home, show you some samples, uh, or we could even you know, do things virtually, which we can do with a few photos. All right, I am joined by the man himself, Tyler from Visit Harford, and we are going to be talking about October. A lot of things going in October in Harford County, and um, really looking forward to it. Falls here. Yes, thank, thank you. God. Yeah, thank God. For people who don't like to sweat, it's finally here. Oh, man, it feels good to be able to open the windows, you know? Oh, I just let the air come in and sit outside like that oh. fire pit. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. I mean, I oh. love Christmas, but the fall season, just amazing. I love it. I, I got to admit, I actually do love grilling around Christmas time. I don't understand why we grill in the summertime. Why not? It's already... It's already 100 degrees outside. I don't need flames at my face. <laughs> hey, so Labor Day weekend when it was what? It was, I think the feel like temperature was 103 or something. Yeah, I believe it. Like that. And, and we had our our Labor Day cookout, our barbecue on that weekend. And I was out there since 1030 barbecuing. And man, I'll tell you, when we were done, I was beat red. It was hot. Probably dropped about 12 pounds, too. <laughs> I wish, but no. No, because when I was dry, when I was sweating off, I was putting back on with all the food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Well, you know, the chef's got to taste his food. Well, absolutely. Yeah, before you yeah. give it to everybody else, you got to try it for yourself. Yeah. Chef's rights, man. I mean, yeah. that, just, that just makes sense. So what's going on in October? Well, it's funny. So you've already um, you sort of parlayed our conversation perfectly. I know. Um, oh, with our, food. <laughs> yeah, with food, because <laughs> October fourteenth and fifteenth is the Maryland State Barbecue Bash uh, mm -hmm. going on right there in the district courthouse parking lot, as it has for over a decade now. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, if you've never been before, you really are missing out, and it just keeps growing as far as. Um, you know, neighbors that come and as far as uh, vendors that show up. And it's not if you're someone that says, well, I don't really like barbecue. Well, it's not just that. There's live entertainment. There's stuff, uh, you know, there's um, vendors like for kids. There is arts, art vendors. There are craft vendors. There's so many wonderful things. And it's it it actually mm -hmm. spreads further than just that parking lot. It actually goes up a bit. Um and it's just, I, I know that there's going to be local entertainment. And I know on Friday night, um, Dalton Dover, who's a country uh, newcomer, oh, is going to yeah. be. And on Saturday is Neon Union. And they are um, also a country group. Um, it's two guys. If you listen to country music, it's very like Montgomery Gentry-esque. Um, they're very rugged, and very fun. And um, ironically enough, the one band member, used to be the bass player in pitbull's band so yeah what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah and he i guess he threw off the sunglasses and put on a cowboy hat and now he's doing country but it's going to be a lot of fun and the best part of this whole thing mom and dad is that it's absolutely free it's free to get in the bar yeah. Free. <laughs> yeah it's what believe it or not that's something i've never been to yet is the wow this is your year this is your year uh what weekend it's the 14th and 15th of October. You're coming. Okay, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, but but for anyone interested in coming, just know that you know the obviously food is for purchase, but admission is free. Yeah, that's great, man. I'm gonna have to get out there. And yeah, didn't it used to be in the summertime though? It used to be in August, okay. and from what I understand, I think they felt like they were the, the amount of people that couldn't make it because of vacations um, right. sort of grew a little bit. Um, and also, it was like a hundred degree in the black top. Yeah. So well, plus Harford, Harford, Harford County doesn't have a chili cook off, so it's not right. Best going with that. Yep. Which right. Might be something new to start. Right. <laughs> chili hey, cook off. I love it. I, food. Okay. Well, and chili. I mean, chili's best in the fall and the winter, anyways. You know, and, and you have to have it during football season. Yes, let that thing marinate in the crock pot a little bit. And... Or... <laughs> <laughs> this is a whole different podcast now. <laughs> so what else we got? Uh, what well, we have barbecue bash. Yeah, we've got the barbecue bash. We've also got um at Ledoux Topiary Gardens Garden Glow, which mm -hmm. is a huge, huge event where people come. Uh, I mean, it's turned into such a big event that people come from out of state to come to this beautiful, beautiful venue. Um, to see essentially illuminated jack-o'-lanterns, also different pieces of artwork. These The jack-o'-lanterns were carved by whether it be a, a resident of Hartford County or celebrities through Hartford County or dignitaries from Hartford County. Uh, you can just go through this beautiful, beautiful landmark in Hartford County and check it out. It's now four days, 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st. And um, just some wonderful uh things for the whole family to see there and also if you are if you're listening to this and you're coming from out of town if you go to visit hartford.com and click on garden glow we've partnered with some um hotels in the county mm -hmm. who are working with um ladue to do some group rates or not group rates but discounted rates so you can save while you're staying in hartford county oh nice hey all right i have to ask you this so you you know country music Maybe. obviously mm -hmm. um but besides that, what about like, do you have like bluegrass or jazz or anything like that? Well, we have, uh, I know that we've got Ramble Fest coming. Yes. It's a, it's a Camp Ramblewood in Darlington. And it's really, it's like a three day event, the 6th, 7th, and 8th of October. And it's a whole bunch. Of, I mean, it's essentially just like a feel good type of festival. I would call it like, I don't want to say Woodstock Light, but we'll say Woodstock Harford. <laughs> in Hartford County and I mean it, it would be a really fun event if you're looking to maybe find a sitter for the weekend take take the kids to to grandma and grandpa's for the weekend and go up and just enjoy yourself um we've got all the details at visit hartford.com if you just type in ramble fest um you can find out all about ticketing what artists are going to be performing there oh. and all the great stuff that comes in with that there are a lot of great artists playing I know you have uh Oh God, who's uh, Uncle Kunkel's one grand band? Yep. This playing, you have uh, the Del McQuarrie band. There's a lot of, I mean, just, I want to get out there so bad for this. I, I would like to go for the whole three days because you can camp right there too. Right, exactly. So, and they've got details on their website on, on all of that information as well. So definitely worth checking out if that's something that interests you. Yeah, these the guys that are putting that together, putting that on, and I think this is the second year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but man, they are they're putting on. Last year, from what I've heard, everybody that went, they said it was phenomenal. Well, and they're very excited about it. Up in yeah. France. So I remember talking with the with the people who organize it the first time they called, and they're just they're very excited. So typically, when the people involved are very excited, it's gonna yep. you're gonna get two thumbs up probably. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then with you know, I know it's not your favorite holiday, but October we have Halloween. We do. It seems seems like there's a lot of Halloween things going on, whether it be the Rocky Horror Picture Show, Trunk or Treats. Yeah, yeah. I can give a quick rundown <laughs> on all of that. So I know we can start off um, with, as you said, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's going to be at the State Theater on October eighth. And the fun thing about that is that. They're doing it with a shadow cast. And if you don't know what that is, that back in back in my day, when we used to go to the movie theater, they would play the movie on the screen and there would be actors underneath 
re you know doing the movie and that's what this will oh, be really the movie will be in the background playing and there will be a shadow cast on the stage doing what the movie is doing and it's oh. a, lot of, a lot of audience participation please don't wreck the theater but a lot of audience participation <laughs> and uh it's really just a a fun event you got to check out um visit harford's got the details on that too. see back back in my day when it came out in the movie theater we didn't have a shadow cast but the audience got involved with the movie and i don't even know how that happened originally yeah i'm not sure i used to be a member of the rocky Horror picture show fan club and would go um it's the, the towson commons movie theater on friday nights mm. and, and and uh we would Shoot water guns and throw yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if State Theater approves of that, but I believe it is some abridged version of that. Well, I I, th I think you could throw the toilet paper. I mean, they allow the streamers during wrestling events, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it was it used to get bad. People would bring like loaves of bread when when mm -hmm. um, when Frankenfurter would say a toast, and people would throw toast, and it was wild. I, and I know it's funny because that's a movie through gener every generation seems to love. Oh. Um, I, I know my wife took my daughter and her friends to see it, and actually it may have been at the state theater, and they they just they loved it. It's just it's just so much fun. It's a, it is. It's a musical that doesn't make sense with some faces that you recognize. <laughs> the movie Pennywise. Doesn't... Yeah, yeah. Oh God. <laughs> But the movie's got, you know, Susan Sarandon and Tim Curry and Barry, Barry Bostwick, yep. and Pete Loaf. I mean, a lot of names that... that yeah, it's funny because you look at Susan Sarandon in that, and, and they're all singing too. Yep. And then you have Barry Bostwick, which I think his probably greatest role was always the mayor on Spin City. Yeah, that was his yeah, biggest yeah. role. And then you have Tim Curry, who also was Pennywise in It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any other thing that he was terrifying in that, yeah. <laughs> I think, he, yeah, he was the original, I think, still the best. Oh, for sure. So, we got that, we got Rocky Hard <laughs> Picture Show, and we've got um, Vampire Circus on October 12th. Oh, yeah, Star Center. If you are, if if that uh tickles your Halloween, you know, itch, scratch <laughs> your head. Um, but there are a ton of people that love Halloween, there are a ton of people that love Halloween. I should have wore a mask for this episode. <laughs> so if you're listening to the podcast right now, you might know that, or you might not know, I am i don't like being scared, startled. That's why I'm not wearing a mask, Tyler. Boogity, boogity, I don't like any of that. <laughs> and um, so Halloween's not my favorite, but I do like it for the sake of the kids and watching yeah. kids dress up. And I have kids of my own, so I know they enjoy it. Um, I bet you take their candy, don't you? I do get to pick through well you have to that's a that's a responsibility of a dad yeah and if you by the way if you are a, a house that gives away full-size candy bars you are you do not go unnoticed there are some houses that like buy boxes you you are the true hero yeah i i remember when my kids were younger if they got the full-size candy bars i'd ask them where'd you get that and they they wouldn't remember because i i have a funny feeling if they told me they knew I would put on a costume real quick and go to that house. <laughs> <laughs> right. You gotta, you gotta try. You gotta at least try. Uh, uh, and we've also got um, Trunk or Treat going on in Aberdeen at Aberdeen Festival Park from noon to four. That's on October 28th. And in downtown Bel Air, also on the 28th, is where you can trick or treat uh, through the downtown district. And um, businesses will be ready to hand out candy yeah. to kids and everything. And and so that'll be fun. And, and you're going to see, I think you're going to see a lot of trunk or treats this year, because if I'm not mistaken, I think Halloween falls on what a Tuesday night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tuesday night. Yeah. Um, and, and you, you start to see more trunk or treats pop up throughout the years. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I think it's a good safe way for people yeah. to enjoy, enjoy themselves. Um, and then, um, <clears throat> pardon me, we've got, Oh, they've been doing it. We were talking about this before the podcast started, but I believe it's it's something like 10 years, if not more. It's not even more. I even remember being a kid 
and feel like I heard, I was hearing about this. So maybe it's 20 plus years, but Harriet's Happiest Halloween is um, happening at the Amos Center, which is um, at Hartford Technical High School, but it's a part of Hartford Community College and, and their events, their live yeah. events that they have going on. But it's a big dance show. Um, you know, it tells a, a story of Harriet who is getting ready for Halloween and every year the plot changes just a little bit so that you can, Oh, yeah. So that if you go the year before, it's like, okay, so last year, last year when we saw it, Harriet, I'm making this up here, but, um, Harriet was trying to get to the Halloween parade in town and she made it and blah, blah, blah. Now this year she's in the parade and it, uh, that's not the plot, but I'm, what I mean is like, it grows every year. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's very cool. Um, it's directed by two of my choreographed and directed by two of my friends, Tiga and Alex, and they are just powerhouse choreographers and dancers. You got to go see it. It's um, October 13th, 14th, and 15th. And we've got the link at visithartford.com and you can check it out there. And where you can sure, I take it that's something for all ages then. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and that's, they try to put that message out in the title with Harriet's Happiest Halloween. So that, you know, of course, you, you're going to see, you know, you're going to see a ghost. You might see a vampire, you might see those things, but they're not, they're not there to harm you. Huh. I might have to check that out this year. Yeah, it's cute. It's very cute and should, should be um, on your checklist for the Halloween season in Hartford County. I'll put it on my, it's on mine now, Tyler. So don't you. All right. <laughs> All right. Good. Good, good, good. Um, oh. Did I mention... Now, did I mention Oktoberfest? If I didn't, I'm doing. If I did, I'm doing it again. There, it didn't happen. I think right. you did. Yeah, but that's all right. Let's talk about it again because it is October. <laughs> yeah, right. So sometimes, <laughs> the, sometimes the event happens in September, but in Haverty Grace, we've got it going on October 14th at Concord Point Park. If you if you've ever been to any Oktoberfest or even heard about it, you know what's going down at that. There's mm. going to be um, beverages. There's going to be delicious food. Um, great fall crafts vendors and such and just going to be something fun to do on the weekend of the 14th. 14th is a Saturday. So head on out there and go enjoy yourself. I just can't believe I'm sitting here looking at the calendar of events at visit Hartford.com. There is so much going on. I know it's Wait. ridiculous. When I was trying to write down bullet points um, before we chatted, I was, you know, going through and I was like, what, what to talk about, what to talk about. And I'm like, I don't, if I went through everything, we'd be here for the better half of the morning. Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, that, that gives me an idea. So all of you that are watching, if you have an event coming up, number one, put it on the calendar at visitharford.com. For sure. But if you would like us to talk about it, get in touch with either Tyler or, my, or myself, because like Tyler, it's hard to, we can't, talk about every event and it's hard to just pick out certain ones yeah and there's no reason one thing talked about over another yeah i'm just so small. if you want to talk about your event please let us know we'll definitely highlight it i mean because yep. there's it's just it, it and you know here's the funny thing because this is october i think come december there's even more a lot of holiday stuff in November, Black Friday. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's it, yeah. Get in touch with us, people. Let us know what you want us to talk about. Uh, and matter of fact, even if you want to swing on, I would say, and join us. Yeah, uh, plug in. We we can do that. We can definitely For do sure. that. Give you a couple minutes to plug it. Is there anything else besides uh, the fact that you probably need to go get some hot tea and honey for your voice? Yeah, apologies on the raspiness, but the Orioles clinched the World Series or clinched the playoffs, and I was there. <laughs> you know, my voice has not recovered since. I would love to see him go all the forty years. Forty I've already, years. I've already let my um, all the, my executive director of Visit Hartford know that if they do, in fact, win the World Series, because I've been an Orioles fan for forty years. That's how old I am. Um, I will need a week off. I will need a week off. That's how this, you know what? Here he is saying, that's how old I am. That's how, to a guy with a freaking white beard. Really? 
Well, hey, at least you've seen them go to the World Series. Uh, well, okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe I was still um on formula and diapers at the time. They wanted to laugh. <laughs> we can do uh, this. We you got, this. you got me there. Um, any more events before I ask you about what restaurant, brewery, or whatever you're going to recommend? Yeah, um, I know that. Well, I just want to let everybody know that we've got the 250th anniversary of. Oh, Florida. that's right. That's being celebrated um, this year and and into 2024. Um, but we've got a big wine kickoff event that's going to be happening at Harford Winery. It's the kickoff of the annual Gunpowder Wine Trail, and it'll be on October 16th, which is a Monday from 3 to 5 p.m. But if you can't make it from 3 to 5, it doesn't mean it's over at 5. That's just when we'll, we'll be doing some speeches and essentially, for lack of a better term, a ribbon cutting for the, the Gunpowder Wine Trail. But you can stay after. And the cool part about this big kickoff celebration is that um, all three of the Hartford County wineries that are involved in the Gunpowder Wine Trail will have these commemorative Hartford 250 engraved um, wine glasses um, that are accessible for purchase. They're, vi- they're beautiful. And um, they're they're each going to have cheeses from different um, farms. It's just a great way to be local and celebrate, you know, and even if you're watching this video or listening and don't live in Hartford County anymore, be cool to come down and, Mm -hmm. you know, piece of history back home to where you call home now. If at some point you or your family ever lived in Hartford County. Okay. So the breweries did a Hartford 250 beer. Yeah, are the, do you, are the wineries doing a Harford 250 wine? So the only reason they're not is because it takes longer to produce uh, a, a wine blend than it does to create a beer blend. Okay. So based off of timing, logistics, and everything that wineries do have to put into making wine, they're, what they decided on is everybody is going to have um, a cheese to commemorate it. It's not the same. Each, each one will be different. Um, but it will it will not be a, a wine blend name now wait a minute they've had 250 years to do this <laughs> yeah well that makes sense <laughs> you knew this was coming <laughs> that's I, that's still I, I mean i would love to try to because there's a lot of farms around here uh, oh sure they, all the different cheeses oh yeah. and if you check out um harford county on visit harford.com we've got a um chocolate and cheese trail where you can pick out all the different places where you can pick up chocolate and cheese. And uh, as I said in our last podcast, I still am amazed at the things I didn't know about Hartford County living here my whole life. But there are so many places and so many farms that produce these amazing cheeses. Um, you got to check out that trail. Um, if you go to our website and you can click on um, experience trails and um, you can. And actually, that. is there something that uh, they should get from the website before they go and visit these places? Like a passport or something? Well, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do have the Hartford Digital Passport. I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Where, where are you going with this, Rich? <laughs> yeah. So we've got the Hartford Digital Passport. And um, if you go, you go to our website, find the digital passport, download it. And it's a web-based um, app that is on your phone. There it is on mine right there. And it just right and it shows up just like a regular app. And you check into places when they're open for business, almost as like letting us know that you've uh purchased something or you've at least walked through and taken a peek. Um, and you mm-hmm. turn these check-ins into points, and points turn into prizes, and you you can build up from something as um as neat as a water bottle to as magnificent as a hotel stay at a local hotel to get away from, from the house for a weekend. And, and for those of you watching, if you haven't been to visit Hartford.com yet, <laughs> uh, first of all, you need to go there because it lists all the restaurants. There are special offers on there. You have the passport, you have the events, uh, and you can learn so much about Hartford County. Uh, like Tyler said, he grew up here still, doesn't know everything out there. I grew up here still, yeah. and I'm old enough to be Tyler's fa- father. And I still don't know everything out there. It's amazing that how many people grew up here and still don't realize everything out that's out there. And I'm not talking about just businesses. I mean, even with some of the parks and everything. Oh yeah. And I mean, it grows, you know, and mm-hmm. that's, that, that's what happens everywhere. 
you know, I don't, whether you were here when the Hartford mall was just a racetrack or, or not, I mean, it everywhere grows. Yeah. Yep. So restaurants, you ready? Yes. Um, uh, where, what? I believe last, last month when we spoke, I said, did I say Box Hill? Yes. Yeah. I said Box Hill last month, still near and dear to my heart, but I'm coming up the road just a little bit. Um, my my restaurant pick for this month is Pairings Bistro. Um, oh yeah, magnificent! If you like mussels, it's not all they have, obviously. But yeah. if you like mussels, oh my gosh, they've got these steamer pots that you know are just for one, and they've got this one that's I believe it's called a Chesapeake, a Chesapeake steamer, and it's got it, it's like mussels that are steamed in onions and Old Bay and. Oh, but it's just I can't. I'm ready to go have some right now. It's so very good. And then they, it comes with fries. It's a holy sauce that you can dip in. Which oh god, I love fancy mayonnaise. So <laughs> my it's, wife, my wife and I stopped there a few months ago. Uh, we were just looking for some. We were headed to a show. It's like, well, let's just stop somewhere and eat real quick. And. Which parents bistro? You really don't want to stop in and eat real quick. No, no, no. That's well, I, yeah, yeah. But we went there and we told them what we were doing, and uh, I mean, they were they were quick to take care of us. Uh, but afterwards, my wife and I decided we definitely have to go back there and actually do the pairing. And try yeah, it. right. Yeah, because they have got a beautiful selection of wine. If you are oh. or whatever, it's an entire wall. I mean, it's yeah world um they've also got um i believe i hope i'm not speaking out of out of turn here out of line but i believe they grow all of their herbs like that they that they cook with yeah so it's all like homegrown stuff it's not you know flown in or mailed in. true farm to table yeah yeah. well for the herbs at least (laughs) yeah not the muscles (laughs) yeah no that (laughs) wouldn't be water to table so, so one of the places I have to recommend. So um last month my daughter fractured her shoulder. Mm. So every week I've been having to take her to the orthopedic doctor for x-rays and then we would hit coffee coffee afterwards. Cuz I that's her favorite place to get coffee, which I don't blame her. So yeah. I'm the t- every time I go to a place I always just say surprise me. I have to say this because we've been going there every week and still got to go because she's still got to go to the doctor. So it's like, hey. I mean, I mean, that's wrong. No, I, I can't wait till she doesn't have to go to the doctor. <laughs> right. I get it. Though. I get it. <laughs> but every time, every time I, the food, whatever food they give me and the drink they give me. Amazing. Yeah. amazing i i've never and i just say the same thing every time surprise me yeah and the, um they've been around they've like, been around for a while yeah. 25 years i'm not even gonna guess <laughs> yeah yeah i mean they've been around i feel like they've been around since the launch of the festival at bel air yeah I, i'm not gonna guess because if i'm wrong hillary or lee might um throw something at me now. yeah apologies <laughs> <laughs> i know you've been there a while Oh, but yeah, man, the, and, and I tell if you're a coffee drinker, even, or tea, you know, you, cause you can buy the beans or ground up and everything there and take it home. And I've done that a lot, especially if I'm, yeah, in the morning when you make the pot of coffee, I just put on that, the brand stuff. Right. But it, it, in the, it, during the day, or if I'm the only one at home, I like to do the French press and yeah. some of the stuff I get from there. Oh, yeah <laughs> and it's all local stuff and it smells good too oh yeah you walk into oh, coffee yeah. coffee man it's just like and i think if i'm not mistaken i think they still carry dangerously delicious pies and if you haven't had one of ronnie's pies yet man the, of the day yes uh amazing just a minute. God, I'm getting hungry, man. We, well, we started with the barbecue hash. We got to end with coffee and pies. I like it. <laughs> right. We have dinner and then we have dessert. Exactly. So, Tyler, I want to thank you. And, uh, God, I will see you next month. And all you watching, if you're out and about in Hartford County this month, if you see Tyler, I am. Um, 
come up and say hi. And again, go to visitharford.com, add your event, download the passport. If you want us to talk about your event for especially next month, November or December, any months coming up, let us know. So we can go ahead and highlight. And if you want to come on and talk about it, let us know as well. For sure. Tyler, hopefully, man, your voice is, well, no, you know what come next month? Your voice is going to be even worse when we win the World Series. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just be able to uh, type to text or or text to speech. (laughs) I have a feeling Orioles are going to win the World Series. Ravens are going to take the Super Bowl. What, What a year. What a year. Yeah. What else do we have? We don't have any other teams. <laughs> I, I know the glass is still around, I believe. I was going to say, it's not to be ignored that that Baltimore's most successful sports team gets very little recognition, and that being the Baltimore Blast. They but they were, moved. Yeah, well, yes, they're not in Baltimore anymore. They are now at Towson University. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't remember the the, um, the, the arena there. Sorry, it's I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah. – they're good. They're always good. They're always really good. Oh, they are. They are. Sorry, Blast, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, big fan. Big fan. <laughs> Tyler, thanks a lot, brother. All right. Thank you, Rich. We'll talk to you next time. Sounds good.